We're here at the 2024 BT Awards, and we are here with the wonderful. It's King of Addiction, R&B, R&B Love. The R&B you love. Yeah. So um, I have a, just a couple of questions for you today. I want to start off talking about your music and what you have going on. Um, you did recently, well, I guess it would be considered recently dropped, the R&B you love. Yeah, yeah. Um, one thing that me personally, I appreciate about, appreciate about your music and what you do is you're reminding people that R&B is music that you dance to, you groove to, you know. Um, is that some of like, your intentions when you're making your music? Yeah, I think, well, I just make music that I love, but I think that uh, it's important to show like the well-roundedness of R&B music. Because I think a lot of times when people talk about R&B, it's always like, oh, we want the begging and the crying and where's the heartbreak? And it's like, it's also a full spectrum. You know what I mean? You think about, you you got a million different emotions throughout a 24-hour span in the day. And you should have, you should be able to have R&B to go to for any of those feelings. And so for me, um, just being a student of, true like legacy R&B that's something that I've noticed and so I, I want to make music that you know we have for for any point in the day. The West Coast has been active this year in the music yeah, yeah. you know the West is the West is very loud and very West, vocal West, as West, a Los West. Angeles native yeah. I know the West Coast hip-hop is at the forefront right now um what can you say to the West Coast R&B scene what is the LA R&B scene looking like what is LA R&B giving right now? I think LA R&B has always been more active than people have given us acknowledgement for. Um, aside from myself, uh, repping the West, you got Sir, you got Tiffany Goucher, you got Alex Isley, you got Victoria Monet, you got Eric Bellinger, you got Jake and Papa, Davion Ferris. Like, there's a million different, you know, artists, R&B artists that come out of L.A. who we've all been, like, collaborators for a long time and really putting on for the city. So I think... Uh, what makes it interesting, it's never been like a thing to us. We just do music and we love it. But like when you look at it, it's like L.A. R&B has actually been a huge part of the sound of R&B in general for a minute. So uh, it's really cool to have this moment for the coast and just to get the acknowledgement of how influential L.A. has been in a lot of the music that we get. That's amazing. I'm honorary West Coast now. Hey. Um, I've been paying rent here for three years, so I get, <laughs> you know, I get, I wear my, yeah. I wear my Dodgers hat outside. Yeah, yeah. So. You got to, you got to. <laughs> we 